Hey people, how is everyone doing? Today I want to talk about Andra Life Sciences, ticker symbol NDRA. It currently is trading around $1 a share, so it is a penny stock. So, what does this company do? NDRA is the pioneer of TAIS, a groundbreaking technology being developed to visualize tissue like MRI. So as we can see here, a new era for ultrasound. Our insight was simple. Ultrasound can do much more than anyone realized. By using energy to stimulate tissue in concert with ultrasound, we can see whole new dimensions. And their project, TAIS, uh, short for Thermoacoustic Enhanced Ultrasound, is focused on early detection of liver disease. We're changing the way clinicians measure fat in the liver, making it easier, less expensive, and more accessible for everyone. Now we're going to watch a short video to see how their project works. Welcome to the Teus Flip user tutorial. This video describes how to use Andrew's Teus Flip liver characterization system with a conventional ultrasound system to estimate hepatic fat content. Teus, thermoacoustic enhanced ultrasound, is an accessory to conventional ultrasound. The cart mounted console, seen here at the head of the examination table, contains all system electronics. Dedicated software is used for controlling scan operations and for processing and displaying data. All software controls are conveniently displayed on a dedicated, compact, touchscreen monitor. The heart of the TAIA system is its handheld fatty liver imaging probe, or FLIP probe. The patient contact surface consists of an applicator that directs short pulses of radio frequency waves into the liver and an integrated ultrasound receiver for measuring the thermoacoustic response. The Android nameplate on the rear of the probe is backlit with a colored LED status indicator. The flip probe, touchscreen monitor, and ultrasound system are all connected to the console. To power up the TAIA system, push the flashing white soft power switch on the front of the console. When powered up, the soft power switch turns solid white, and the status indicator on the flip probe flashes blue while it warms up. First, configure the ultrasound system for B-mode scanning. The ultrasound system is used to define a gross region of interest for the TAIA scan and to determine the depth of the measurements to be acquired. Position the patient in a supine position for a right lateral abdominal exam with the right arm over the head. To locate the region for liver fatty tissue assessment, palpate the inferior edge of the xiphoid process, move laterally to the right upper quadrant, and locate the intercostal space. Apply ultrasound gel to the probe or along the selected intercostal space. A good liver window should be void of vessels and gallbladder, with the surface of the liver as parallel as possible with the probe. Freeze the image and mark the position of the probe. Next, measure the distance from the skin surface to the border between the subcutaneous fat and intercostal muscle. TAIS will utilize the thermoacoustic signal from lean muscle at this location as an internal calibration as it is not affected by hepatic fat content. Now measure the distance from the skin surface to the surface of the liver capsule. The thermoacoustic signal measured at this location reflects the degree of hepatic fat accumulation. The greater the fat content, the lower the thermoacoustic signal. We will now use the dedicated TAIA software to start a scan. Tap the new procedure button on the touchscreen monitor. Before proceeding, ensure that all contraindications have been reviewed with the patient, then press confirm to proceed. On the next screen, Drag each of the two slider bars so that the distances displayed correspond to the muscle and liver distances obtained from the B-mode image. Press the arrow keys for fine positioning adjustments. Then press the arrow icon to proceed. When the ready to scan screen appears, remove the flip probe from its holder and place the ultrasound receiver in the same position that the ultrasound probe was in for the B-mode scan. TAIS uses the same foot switches as the ultrasound system for hands-free operation while scanning. To make a measurement, press the right foot switch. If your ultrasound system is not equipped with foot switches, you can press the simulated measure foot switch on the touchscreen display to initiate a measurement instead. When the scan is completed, a graphic is displayed that represents the measured thermoacoustic signal. Ensure that the boundary definitions align with the signals from the muscle and liver and readjust the boundaries if necessary. If the two signals are not clearly defined, press reject to perform a new scan. Press accept to generate numerical data. Quantitative data expressed as a thermoacoustic derived absorption parameter, or TAP, are now displayed. 
the parameter is derived from the two measured thermoacoustic signals and has an inverse correlation with fat fractions determined by quantitative MRI. The lower the tap value, the greater the degree of fat accumulation. Perform up to 10 scans per patient. Data are displayed in the right panel as are any previous scans attained from the same patient. The average value is displayed in the bottom right corner. Record this value offline before proceeding to the next patient. This concludes the Taze Flip user training tutorial. The Andrew Life Sciences team will be happy to answer any additional questions you might have. Thank you. Welcome to the... So, about liver diseases. So let's start with the first one. NAFLD is the collective name for a group of liver disorders that starts as a fatty liver and ends with NASH, short for non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or as I just said, NAFLD, often occurs in Western countries and is caused by an unhealthy lifestyle without much movement and a lot of incoming calories. Fatty liver disease is the build up of fats in the liver cells. The cause of this is an imbalance in the fat metabolism and sugar metabolism. Fatty liver disease is a reversible process. This means that the fat accumulation disappears when the cause is removed. Worldwide, over 1.4 billion are people are suffering from this disease and the worst thing is that there are little to no health complaints. At the point you may get health complaints, the disease already developed into NASH or as I just said, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. About 20 to 30% of people with NAFLD develop NASH. This is an inflammation of the liver as a result of fatty liver. Non-alcoholic steatohepatitis then can lead to liver cirrhosis. In liver cirrhosis, there is so much scar tissue in the liver that it has affected the structure of the liver. By treating this, the cause in time, liver cirrhosis can disappear and complications can be prevented. If the cause of liver cirrhosis cannot be treated, the liver cirrhosis can progressively spread. Ultimately, cirrhosis of the liver can lead to liver failure or liver cancer. I have plenty of more information that I could try to provide you guys with on these diseases, but for now I'd, I'd like to move on. Here I want to speak about why I think Andrea might have gold in their hands in this part of the healthcare world. First I want to state that I think that the other ways to find these diseases just are not good at all at the moment. Because NAFLD causes no symptoms in most cases, it frequently comes to medical attention when tests are done for other reasons. The current ways to find out a patient suffers from NAFLD are a CT scan, a MRI scan or a liver biopsy. All these current methods are extremely costly and both a CT and a MRI scan lack the ability to, to distinguish NASH from NAFLD. With TAYAS detecting a liver disease is less expensive. For example, use of TAYAS is 50 times less expensive than a MRI scan. Also it is a lot easier as we saw in the video earlier. And since it is less expensive and easier, it automatically makes it more accessible for anyone to undergo this. I believe this is the future of this detecting a liver disease in an early stage and I hope this will be available in every hospital one day. Currently the company is CE marked and I expect them to get their FDA approval in the upcoming month. Now for the price targets of a few analysts and my plan with this company. Currently there are three analysts who set their price target and they all put this out as a buy with the lowest PT being $3.5 a share and the highest as high as $6 a share. At the moment I have not bought a single share of this and as you all know the mar market is closed tomorrow. So on Tuesday I plan on picking up some shares and I for now believe I will be holding these for a long term. Also I plan on doing a new video on this where I dive deeper into the technology and into the financials of this company. For now this was today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if so you can leave a like down below and subscribe to my channel. If you knew about this company before I did and to want to discuss things with me, please leave a comment about that. Then there is one thing left to say for me and that is goodbye people, see you next time.